but the Flintstones, did you ever notice that there was a beginning of the of the episode was exactly the same as the end of the episode? Nobody fucking noticed that. But that's, that's what I was It's like a mind-washing technique for kids. It, it, I mean, think about it. It started out that way. You had Fred Flintstone, who's rushing to work. He's late as shit, right? And, yeah. and, and he can't get out of the house. The dog's going crazy just to rush to sit in the traffic to then stamp his time card. Yeah. So right from the beginning yeah, yeah. of time, this is it said funny. this is how you're supposed to live your life. Yeah. And as soon as he stamped his time card, then the boss hollered Let's at Let's change him. that, Brandon. Fuck yeah. You can do whatever you want with your life. Well Ladies and gentlemen, today you are in for a fucking treat. My guy Funky in Miami reached out and I thought to myself, what better time than now during this quarantine isolation bullshit to keep myself from going mad rather than jump on a plane, get down here and see what we can get into. So ladies and gentlemen, strap your boots on because you're in for a ride. How nice of you to join me. You tell me to sit in, in the middle of nowhere. Fucking Brandon, dude. Topless eating an ice cream waiting for you. Uh, this is Funky Maddox. He pretty much has Miami on a stronghold. You want something done, you call this guy. If you're, if you're interested in getting into the Guinness Book of World Records, you call Funky. Why? Because he's in the fucking thing. I don't know how he got there. He's going to explain to me later. But he assured me if I came here, what we would do is a few different things. Number one, Put a lot of smiles on a lot of people's faces. We're Number two, that. we're not telling you. Come how on, we're doing. you gotta tell them later. We'll I, tell them, I don't even know. How I'm we're not doing a fan it. of waiting. But we're gonna do something really cool. We're, we've uh, we've decided to make our life's purpose helping other people and uh, creating happiness around us. And uh, and, and what better time than now during this? Life? Yeah, no. Coronavirus, quarantine, yeah. self isolation. News says we're gonna die tomorrow. But you know what we can do. Are we connected telepathically? Mick Donald's. Fuck yeah! Let's go get a bunch of uh, let's go get a bunch of food for homeless people. I think that's the least we can do. Uh, there's a lot of homeless people, especially now. Though, so I think a hundred is good. All right, rock and roll. So here we go. McDonald's, here we come. Mission number one. How are you? Oh, this is gonna. Be um, fun. I'd like to order 100 cheeseburgers, please. <laughs> They she went to call the manager. <laughs> Usually it's like, I gotta call the police. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Can you come to the window? Yeah, it's, it's not can. a joke. Christ, I feel like I'm getting called to the principal's office. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, can you come to the office? All You're right. suspended. Here we go. Oh, God. She I'm went like to nervous. call the manager. You've Where were you putting achieved. 100 burgers? <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'd like to be 100 cheeseburgers. We're gonna make them close down for the day or something. Okay. And who'd have thought 100 cheeseburgers would only take 10 minutes? Yes? That's it? That's what, it. What, uh, you, you, what else should I get? And a Diet Coke. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I'm waiting over in the parking lot. I figured a, a great day. $100 burger receipt would be a little longer than this. If you've ever asked yourself, what do 100 cheeseburgers look like? Here's your fucking answer. And if you've ever asked yourself, what emotion do 100 cheeseburgers create? You're about to find out. I'm about to have one right now. Now's not the time. Come on. 